when Kendrick Lamar said, if you take it there, I'm going to take it further. I never knew that it was going to be a funeral session for someone who is still alive, filmed and live streamed on Juneteenth. You cannot make this up. They said that Drake needs to respond on Columbus Day. I cannot take y'all serious. <laughs> y'all don't know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. What is going on, you all? We got to talk about the pop out concert that Kendrick Lamar did with all of the West Coast artists showing up, even Tommy the Clown coming out, like memories, culture, everything being filmed on Juneteenth. Like this was, I don't care what anybody says, this was, this was good. Like they really did. It was beautiful seeing black men come together from all, you know, you know, different sides of the whatever. Like you had your bloods, you had your crips. Like they was tiptoeing, doxy doing to not like us. Like, it, like they was really like, it was a whole like shindig. Like it was a whole shindig. And this was happening on Juneteenth. The girl said that Drake needs to respond and do something on Columbus Day. <laughs> I just cannot take y'all serious. I did not expect Kendrick Lamar to perform Not Like Us six times. Six times. Breath control, the way he was able to give energy consistently on that stage, you cannot take away that. That man is an artist. That man, that Hebrew Israelite, that, <laughs> that person, that man is very talented at what he does. And you can tell that he perfects his craft and he takes it serious. Like, I don't care. I don't care what you do in life. You can take Kendrick Lamar's whole situation with Drake and apply it to anything that you want in life. Like, you can take that and apply that to getting back at the devil. <laughs> <laughs> like you can take that, like the energy, the chaos, the calculated chaos that Kendrick Lamar has done to Drake will go down in the history books. Like this being the finishing move, like a final fatality. I'm not even sure if I want to call Kendrick Lamar a, um, an anime character or a super villain or something like that like it is no way to describe him he is from another reality and i'm just thankful because you know i am not a fan of drake but watching this performance was everything shout out to all the west coast artists that came out um i enjoyed it i really really enjoyed this seeing everybody come out like you had the girls were showing up you had SZA come out and this little red riding hood outfit to hide to be a part you had chloe who was there you had LeBron James and his wife, they're like, girl, even folks who Drake mentioned on his song to diss towards Kendrick Lamar, like YG was right there on the stage. Like he was there. Even Dave Pre was there. He was the top producer on when the show ended. They had Dave Free at the top. Then Whitney and his kids were there in the audience. Like <laughs> this was the most silent eviscerating move i have ever seen done to an artist ever like we've never seen anything like this like this was a label versus a small person type of like on that type of scale like the way that drake miscalculated everything with kendrick lamar and all of his miscalculations end up being more things that kendrick used to get back at him this whole situation juneteenth there's so many levels to it. Like this was the response. Like I am the culture. I'm not just saying this. I can prove it. Everything that I'm saying, I can prove. And that is what Kendrick Lamar has been saying from the very beginning. Now, when Kendrick told Drake, if you take it there, I'm going to take it further. Like he warned Drake, hey, let's keep this as a friendly fade. Drake and the I like to sing a album. Hello, sponsor. I love singer, about the moon and the June and the springer. I love singer. Pushing the red button, girl, it must have been like a colorblind owl because that was not the red button. It couldn't have been the red button. Like, maybe, like, we are interpreting that. That button couldn't have been. This was the red button. Like, an ultimate defeat. Like, what else can you say? So, Kendrick Lamar performed. 
Euphoria. He even performed 616. Like, this was a West Coast like situation. Like, folks even said that this is so good that Tupac is debating coming out. <laughs> Matter of fact, somebody said there was a guy on the stage with a ski mask. They said there was Tupac, so he had to go high. I am hollering. Y'all ain't, y'all are terrible. Y'all are terrible, but a really good performance. Um, folks really did their things. Like, they really came out. It was good energy, good crowd. Now, we can have a conversation because, girl, for this to be Juneteenth and all those non-black folks to be on the stage talking about some pop out, like, I'm I'm confused. Like, how y'all saying colonizer? White people on the West Coast, like, they are the even more farther removed from blackness version of Fat Joe. Like, they really believe that they're black. <laughs> like, you cannot tell these folks anything. Like, I, I'll never forget when I went to L.A. back in 20... 16 this was during the broken homeless tour you can actually type it in i had rented an airbnb i think i was in studio city and i rented this airbnb from this from this man his son was renting out the room and i was staying with them and i like went out with them they took me to the pier and everything and they were just casually saying the n-word like repeatedly like nope nope i was the only black person there they don't have any black friends but they were repeatedly saying the n-word like it was nothing like oh we're sorry and I'm just studying them. I found it fascinating. I felt like I was in a zoo uh, with sun dodgers. I thought it was interesting just watching them in their natural habitat, like, mimic us. Like, it was hilarious to see and concerning. But um, Kendrick Lamar, this was his crowd. This was, you know, they were moving. Like, they were energized. Let me say this. For the people who are saying that this is not the end for Drake, or I even saw some Twitter person or YouTuber say, that this shows the level of Drake's power that Kendrick Lamar was able to get this much like reaction and um, attention to this concert because of Drake. That makes absolutely no sense. If that was the case, y'all would have been saying that two months ago. Before this even went, before the first diss track was even out, y'all should have said that. None of y'all were saying that until the situation started becoming worse for your fave. The situation became worse for your fave and then y'all started like recalculating like y'all was like the first tum tum like y'all had no idea the satellites were not connecting what is it the braids like y'all had no access but people who understood knew that the culture is on kendrick lamar's side like the culture is there like white folks was able to afford to pay to go there honestly if it was me i would have been selling no tickets to white folks period i was like hey this is juneteenth like you know y'all not this is black folks first like it should have been a pre-sale <laughs> black folks should have been a pre-sale to black folks even if black folks chose to sell the ticket to a non-black person it should have been a reparation tax on it like if you do sell this ticket to a non-black or white person it's going to have to be a reparation tax on it period i don't know what else i mean that's just me that's just how i feel but i was screaming watching white folks have not like us on the shirt so like girl the message is not connecting like it's not connecting it's not getting there but pop out and show it was doing it it did the thing um kendrick performed euphoria that's my jam like he ate it up kendrick perform i cannot stress this enough kendrick performing these songs live he was sweating like he did not take a break perform he did not come out in no ninja turtle outfit he did not come out with all these like playful things he came out as a grown man an artist that is you know all about his craft like he looked good he looked in control he looked like he knew what he was doing the confidence on the stage came out and his ability to consistently sound the same every time and hold this crowd like and move this crowd it is this is an artist like this is an artist um that's i mean that's my that's that's it um well we can have a conversation we can also even though I'm giving praise, like, we're going to have to pull on your wig a little bit. We're going to have to pull on your braids, too, Kendrick, because if this is truly, like, y'all are calling out Drake and it's saying these things about him doing these terrible things or whatever, then why are you having Dr. Drake come out, who has a history of being abusive to his, like, female partners, like, to his women, to his exes, has a history of that. Even another West Coast talented artist michelle a who you know talked about her relationship with dr dre um 
have him like come out and say i see dead people like this is the state of the culture this is hip-hop like this is it like we can't like it just shows us like even when we try to pretend like we care ultimately we do not care like this is what's going on like we're seeing dr dre like who has a history of being abusive to women so this is this is what it is but um you know there's nothing that ovo ov holes can do um ovo mark posting an instagram message of a um tour bus with drake or whatever like it is done like y'all are not going to be able to mean y'all way out of this situation this is a reading on the state of the culture and this is reinforcing that the culture is behind kendrick lamar having these artists who even drake has used in getting back at kendrick being at this concert like like you even had nba stars there you had lebron james who was there you also had russell westbrook who was on the stage like dancing and getting his life like this this is where the culture is at and let me tell you something for the folks who are saying again that drake is not done it's not going to be uh quick it's going to be a slow decline because one thing about it white folks are going to follow the culture like they're going to follow the culture if black folks are not feeling it they're not you know messing with it they're not going to be connecting with it or supporting it unless it's an election season and drake is not political so they have no reason like he ain't out here doing no um you know supreme court um comments and stuff like he ain't out here saying support trump in that type of way so they ain't gonna get behind him but white folks they're going wherever the culture is at and where black folks say the culture is at they're going to follow it they're going to follow it and the more that we see that drake does not have access to the culture the more white folks are going to move away because white people do not want to be called white <laughs> not in that white people do not want to be called lame white folks who get a kick out of being in proximity to blackness and all the black things the last thing they want to be a part of is a person who does not have access to the culture that they're interested in stealing you serve no purpose like you serve no purpose especially if you're not like white it'd be different if it was like a white person who's doing it whatever like oh we got our own they're not interested in that. Like, Drake is not that. He's still not white at the end of the day. We can joke about it, but he's still not white. Um, and again, like, this is this is where they're saying the culture is. Black folks not messing with it? That's just what it is. And it's looking more and more like that. Now, all black folks ain't, you know, choosing sides. Some folks are enjoying the songs that Kendrick has put out and just like, hey, I'm still going to listen to Drake or whatever. But it's a significant amount of folks who are just like, I'm not interested in Drake. Like, I don't think we're going to be hearing Drake that much this summer. Even that song he did with Sexy Red, that's a lifeline. But Sexy Red, she's cute for right now. Like I said, like, but Sexy Red is not enough to be able to sustain Drake. Like, it's going to be hard for Drake to find other artists and stuff to work with. He's really going to have to prove that he has the numbers and he can do these things like drake is really going to have to like come out with a song or a banger and if he does it too soon it's going to look like he's desperate if he waits too long it's going to be like he's scared and he's waiting but overall it was a really good performance seeing kendrick lamar like on that stage just moving around and doing his thing like it just ate for me it just ate for me all the jokes all the the wop 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 the changing of the wop like oh my gosh like every time i was just that was hot. That was hot. Whoever, like, they did that. Like, he was just moving. Like, he was doing it. Like, in different areas. This was no homemade. Like, this, well, you know what? This was homemade. This was homemade cooking. Like, Kendrick Lamar was making this homemade. It was not made in a factory. Like, this is what you, when you want to talk about artistry that's homemade, this was that. And that's why they showed up for him. They came on this stage because they truly do support Kendrick Lamar. They came on this stage because they think he is a good person and he's good for the community and they want to work with him. They did not come on this stage because they need to be in proximity with him. They genuinely like him. And that what separates him from Drake because people are close to Drake because of what he can do for them. Folks are close to Kendrick Lamar because of what he does. Those are two different things. Drake is one of those folks, if I do something for you, 
and you disrespect me or whatever, I because it's it's going to happen. I'm going to name that I gave you your first number one. I'm going to do all these things. We're more than likely going to fall out about a girl. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you, like, hey, I'm number one, all the other stuff. Like, that's what Drake has. And Kendrick Lamar has said, only you like being famous. Kendrick Lamar is not interested in being in the limelight like Drake is. You didn't see Kendrick Lamar come out and do interviews. You didn't see him like tweets. You didn't see him put no subliminal stuff. The music was just it, which makes him be taken serious when he is out because we do not have access to him like that. We do not have access to Kendrick Lamar like that. So for him to come out and do this, it made so much sense. Folks said that Drake can do the same thing. He can perform in Houston. Drake is not from Houston, Texas. He's not from Memphis, Tennessee. He's not from any of these cities in the South. He's not from any, he's from Canada. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it is something wrong with that when you're trying to cosplay as a gangster. I don't care what anybody says. Megan was the first person to throw the brick at the embassy of Drake. And she needs to be rewarded for that. That's all I got. Shout out to all y'all. Tell me what y'all thought about my video. Tell me what y'all thought about the concert. Let me know in the comments. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.